What's going on everyone? Welcome to another Keyshot Quick Tip. In this video, we're jumping into camera keyframe animation and learning how to quickly create dynamic camera animations with as little effort as possible. Once you have a scene that's ready for animating, you'll want to open your animation toolbar and add a camera keyframe animation to your timeline. You can do this one of three ways. You can open the animation wizard and select keyframe from the options under camera animation, then select the camera you'd like to animate. You can locate the camera in the scene tree, right click the camera and add a keyframe animation from the flyout menu. And you can also locate the camera in the camera list, right click and then select the animation from the flyout menu there as well. Whichever way you choose to create your animation, the result will be that the first keyframe of your animation appears at the start of your timeline. At this point, there are two ways you can proceed with creating your keyframes. Both can be found on the animation menu at the top of the timeline. The first is the add keyframe button, which lets you add a keyframe at any point you've selected on the timeline by simply clicking the icon. This generates an independently editable keyframe on your timeline. The second way is to use the record keyframe option. This allows you to record different camera views automatically by simply selecting a point on the timeline and then moving your camera into the desired location. This method allows you to record a keyframe without having to physically click a button to add each one. You can see me demonstrating this on the screen currently. However, for this video, I'm going to build out the animation using the add keyframe option. Both work equally well, it really just comes down to preference and how you'd prefer to work. With this method, I'll select a point on the timeline where I'd like my second keyframe to be located. I'll then add a keyframe at this point and I'll adjust my camera to the second camera view I'd like to show. Now you can see that when I scrub between the points, the camera seamlessly transitions between point A and point B. I'll then continue adding keyframes and adjusting my cameras until I've covered all the views I'd like to include in my animation. Now that I've strung together a series of keyframes, I can scrub through my animation to preview what it looks like in its entirety. I can then make any necessary tweaks to the animation by dialing in my parameters. To adjust timing, I can simply grab a keyframe and move it along the timeline to my desired point. I can also double click a keyframe to open up my properties for that specific keyframe. It's important to note that each keyframe has its own properties, so changing the parameters of one does not affect the others. Within the properties window, there are two interpolation methods to choose from. The first is path interpolation, which functions essentially the same as the previous camera path animation. This method means that the camera will move in a straight line from point A to point B. The second is orbit interpolation, which means the camera will move from point A to point B while orbiting around the target, which can be set in the field below the interpolation method options. Along with camera pivot, we also have tension settings that apply only to path interpolation. This works the same way it did for the previously available camera path animation option that keyframing replaced. And below that, we have familiar fields for timing and motion ease settings as well. Once you have your settings dialed in and all the necessary keyframes created, you're ready to render the same way you would for any other animation. So next time you're looking for a quick way to create fast dynamic visuals for your Keyshot projects, consider giving camera keyframe animations a try. And as always, if you're interested in more useful Keyshot content, hit that subscribe button, give us a like, and don't forget to let us know your thoughts on this quick tip in the comment section below.